All right, we, we get ourselves now, this time around, the last question of the Cauchy Euler section or segments that we've been covering. We have ourselves a nice, fun equation. What I mean by fun? Wait, wait, wait a few minutes. You will find out yourself what a fun this, this particular question is. Okay? Why, why do I use that fun terminology? Non-homogeneous. And now I have to revisit the previous segments to solve. You'll find out momentarily. Okay? These type of equations. So it's like testing you on several segments. Uh, y is equal to x to the power of m. I'm not going to go over very carefully because we have established this in multiple segments. The only thing that saves me over here is, is the second order. In the previous question that I solved, it was a third order. Okay, so first I'll do this, you know, the whole thing that I've been doing for the last many, many segments. We are going to first calculate the homogeneous equation roots and we are going to make them the solution by C and then we'll go at it with the particular solution where I still will have the right hand side over here present okay so let's go out and find yc in order to do that what i will do is i will have x square um let's insert that directly so we don't you know lose some your valuable time um minus 3x y prime which is m x m minus 1 plus 3y which is x m is equal to what 2x to the power of 4 e to the x nope homogeneous Zero. D is gone. Gone, right? So I got myself m square minus m. You see this is m square minus m, right? Minus 3m plus 3 is equal to zero. I also uh, didn't really discuss x to the m is multiplied by each of them, so I take x to the m parentheses. I simply skip a step, but that's okay. We have shown this multiple times. So I have here m square minus 4m plus 3 is equal to zero. So if I do this, plus minus square root of p square minus 4ac divided by 2, you will see that, um, I actually you will get this, you know, I'm not sure you can see it right from here, but this is what this equation is, okay? And your roots will be m1 will be equal to 1, m2 will be equal to 3. So if I go ahead and write my yc, you will see that it's going to be c1x plus c2 x cubed, right? Um, okay, then now comes the more difficult part because now I don't know yp, right? If I find out what yc is, let's find out the yp, right? Um, let's write the equation one more time and now I will actually go ahead and divide every side, everything by x square, right? Because I want to leave this alone, remember? You know, um, we have done this multiple times. So you will get yourself y double prime minus 3x divided by x square is, you know, this, right? plus 3 divided by x squared is, well, it is, is equal to 2x squared, not x to, the power, x to the power of 4 anymore. That's right. Let me double check that so I don't want to re redo the entire question. Yeah, it's good. So my question to you is, now this has absolutely nothing to do with Cauchy earlier equation, the solution step in here. Can you do undetermined coefficients? Looking in here, yes, you can, right? You can say ax squared plus bx plus c times e to the x is equal to, you know, that will be your solution yp and plug it in and call the day, right? And then you leave the exam, you think you did real well and you find out that you didn't score any, any good at all, right? Why? You cannot you do undetermined coefficients in here. Um, you know, I hope you do see, okay? That was a little bit of a theatrical play just to illustrate, but uh, undetermined coefficients assumes that these are numbers. You see over here I have functions, so I can't use that. The only thing that I teach you so far is to go ahead and do the uh, method of variation of parameters. Do you remember that? We had this. This yp was, um, you know, u1x, y1x, which is x by the way, this is x, right? Plus u2x, y2x, and that's x cubed, right? So let's write in here, method of variation of parameters. So now I'm practicing this one more time with you, okay? Now I'm practicing this one more time with you. Um, okay, so the, the, the rule was u1 prime was the wrong scheme 1 divided by wrong scheme and the wrong scheme was 0 f of x, uh, y2, y2 prime, and then this w was obtained by y1, y1 prime, y2, y2 prime. Okay, 
All right, so let me plug in the values of what I know. So that's going to be 0, and f of x is the right-hand side, so that will be 2x squared e to the x, you see up here, right? This is f of x. Okay, good. Um, y2 is the second root, and I see it right here, right? x cubed, so I'm going to write here x cubed and 3x squared, right? The derivative of it, divided by, now y1 is this time on x, so what is the derivative of x? which is 1 x cubed 3 x squared, right? So that's what I'm going to determinant of this. So this becomes minus 2 x 5 e to the x, you've seen that. Divided by, the right hand side becomes 3 x cubed minus x cubed, right? So you see from here, you one prime turns out to be minus 2 x to the 5 e to the x divided by 2 x cubed, right? So, 2's cancel, x cubed becomes, this becomes 2. So, you see here that I get myself u1 prime is equal to minus x squared e to the x. Okay, that's what I meant by fun. I had to do the integration by part twice, okay? I didn't say that to you to memorize this. Maybe I ought to, right? Maybe it comes in often. I told you to memorize x, integral of x e to the x, which is x e to the x minus e to the x, that was the uh, integral of it, so we'll have to do something about it. But let's just give a break over here so I can look at the second uh, u2 uh, prime, but I also really have a high hopes over here that this is not going to be as bad as this, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of a shortcut because I demonstrated up there, so this w2 this time on will be other way around, so that will be x1 0 2 x squared e to the x right up there down there well let's see here i don't want to do it again right 2 x cube so if i write this you're gonna see 2 x cube e to the x divided by 2 x cube e to the x okay this is this is what i'm talking about now that's what i'm talking about so if i take this is the you know let me do it over here so um while i'm excited du dx is equal to e to the x, so I get myself u2 is equal to e to the x, right? So that's it for this particular uh, u2. How about u1? Well, we have to do it. So u1 will be integral of minus x squared, don't forget the minus, e to the x dx. Okay, I'll do the typical thing, right? I'm going to call u is equal to x squared, so you can see du is equal to 2x dx. I'll call dv is equal to e to the x dx, I get myself v is equal to e to the x. So if I plug it in to the uv minus integral v du, right? So you're going to get minus, don't forget the minus, x squared e to the x minus, but there's a minus in front of over here, that's going to be a plus sign, integral of 2x e to the x dx. So if I want to write this this way, I can take out the 2, so minus x squared e to the x plus 2 integral of x e to the x dx right and i uh, kind of warn you about that you know this is uh, happens too often and i recommended you to memorize this and i said that that's going to be x e to the x minus e to the x if you don't know it my uh, it's not a biggie you know you can just simply call u just like this u is equal to x this time so your du will be dx dv will be e to the x dx v will be e to the x so you plug it in etc i'm just saving some some time over here so I get myself minus x squared e to the x plus, don't forget the 2, 2x two e to the x minus, again, 2 e to the x. Can I do a simplification in here? No, maybe I can take it in terms of the e to the x parentheses, but that's pretty much uh, it. Okay. Um, all right. So then I know my u1. Nice. I'm, I, 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 I really am happy now. Um, so yp will be, if you remember, it's going to be u1 x, y1 x. This was x plus u2 x y2 of x and this was x cubed right okay then it's, i simply will copy paste that so if i write this um, minus x squared e to the x plus 2 x e to the x minus 2 e to the x times x right plus e to the x x cube okay 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 i'm seeing something i'm not sure you're seeing it This multiplied by x is minus x cube e to the x. What about plus e to the x, x cube? 
So again, you know, these simple things make me happy, you know. So I get rid of these two terms. So my yp then will be, you can see over here, 2x square e to the x minus 2x e to the x. You can take e, x e to the x parentheses if you choose to, okay? Or maybe even 2x, yeah. But that's your choice. So I have my yp. Um, so then I will have to write the whole thing, right? That was the goal that I want to accomplish. So the y will be equal to uh, yc plus yp. And then if I rewrite that, it was c1x plus c2x cubed plus 2x squared e to the x minus 2x e to the x. So that will do it, okay? This is kind of it. Now I'm going to move on to the nonlinear equations, and that will be real fun, okay? Have a nice day. Thank you.